Hi! Are you there? I hope you're there. I'm not sure this is working, but hello. I'm Samantha Hunt, coming to you live from London. Uh, I wonder if you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. So, um, I wish I could be there and hear this night of inventors, but alas, I am here. Amanda has sent with me to London a, 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 a series of questions that she wants me to answer while I'm here so you can see. Do not open this until June 3rd, 2009 at 7.35 p.m. New York City time. So I think that's, that's about what time it is now. It's, it's, it's getting late here in London, so I'm going to open it up. All right, let's see. I'll read you guys the questions. It said that Tesla memorized entire books, even had a photographic memory. Do you think he had a brain tumor? John Travolta had a brain tumor in that movie Phenomenon, and that was the reason he could memorize entire books and gained, and gained a photographic memory. That's a good question, especially any question that references John Travolta. Um, uh, yeah, he did. He memorized all of Faust. He memorized entire novels, uh, entire reference books. Uh, I, I don't think he had a brain tumor because he lived to a ripe old age. I mean, he was, actually, he thought that he was going to live a lot longer. So maybe it was a brain tumor that killed him. He thought that he was going to live to 125. And he actually always blamed the, uh, his death at age 83 on prohibition. He said that those years of prohibition, that he couldn't have his daily whiskey, um, deprived him of that. His mom also had a photographic memory, so maybe that maybe that's where he got it from. That's a good question. Okay, here's the next one. It's also said that Tesla had a lot of flashbacks to earlier times in his life. Hmm. I know that he invented the radio, but between you and me, do you think he invented acid? <laughs> he, he strikes me as the sort of guy, the, that kind of friend that you have, who doesn't need acid because he's already there. He's already there with you, and you kind of need to take acid to hang out with him so that you know, things might, uh, you might be able to get onto his wavelength. But another good question. Thanks, Amanda. Okay. Tesla was stricken with illness time and time again. I'm also stricken with illness time and time again. Today my eyes itch and my sinuses feel gutted. Full gutted? I, I'm sorry, I can't read that. Full gutted. She's having sinus problems. Okay. Is it possible that I was the one who actually invented the radio? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, I think that you, unless, but maybe you're also, you know, there's, there's a theme of time travel here in this story. So maybe as a time traveler, Amanda Stern did invent the radio and has come back here to the future to have host this reading tonight and, and correct the record. I mean, look, nobody, nobody says that Tesla invented the radio and, and, you know, I thought he did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Amanda Stern invented the radio and, um, and history has to be corrected there. Okay. Every time I get an x-ray, does Tesla's estate get royalties? No. Even though he did invent the x-ray, he, he doesn't. Uh, and he's actually not credit for that. Uh, um, he, he never tried to take credit for the x-ray. He thought uh, he, he couldn't protect a lot of his inventions and ideas partly because he didn't care to. He didn't think invention was something anybody could own. Uh, he thought, well, you know, if I invented it, it's there for the world, uh, which might be part of the reason that he is so badly not remembered. If you get an MRI, however, the Tesla family still does not get any money, but you are being measured in Teslas. That is the unit of measurement for the MRI. So people who get MRIs are at least might know who Tesla is. Okay, I asked random people what they would ask Tesla if he were sitting across from them. Here's what they said. Random person number one. Why would he let an 80s hair band name itself after him? Good question. Um, I think that, honestly, I have to say that I um, did not know who Tesla was. I was not taught him in school, as I imagine many of you Americans were not taught him in school. And I went to a lot of school. And his name was floating around in my head and it was because of that hair metal band and so I, I do give them some credit and you know they have one of their records is actually called Edison's Medicine so they they get to the heart of the matter that that Edison was trying to screw Tesla out of a lot of money um, 
the other thing I was going to say about them is they actually donate, they give money to this kind of great guy out in Michigan. He's a little bit, he's a little bit wacky, but he um, is spending his retirement making sure busts of Tesla get made and he's trying to donate them to museums and, and, and Tesla, the, the hair metal band, gives money to this guy. Um, I actually sent them a copy of the book, but they didn't write back. I think that their touring schedule maybe doesn't leave them a lot of time for reading. Um, okay, random person number two. Want to go to Burning Man and bring a really cool art project. I've never gone to Burning Man because I am, I am from the British Isles and I'm scared that I would get burned to a crisp. Although, I guess if I could just go, if I could use that time machine maybe and just arrive there at night, which I hear is the good time to be there anyways, uh, then I would go. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I would like to do a really cool art project, but what that might be, hmm. Well, that, that remains to be seen. Okay, random person number three. Uh, you were in love with a white p pigeon, weren't you? Yes, indeed he was. Um, oh god, that question was for Tesla, not for me. Okay, what, would Tesla like to do a really cool art project? Mm, I don't think Tesla would go to Burning Man. He would, um, because there would be too many people there and germs. And in fact, the reason Louisa was bringing him 18 towels in the reading is because he had to wash his hands. Um, for the 18 hours, at once an hour every time that he was awake during the day and he uh, needed a fresh towel each time and he was just alone in a hotel room. So I have a feeling he wouldn't go to Burning Man. Okay, uh, you were in love with a white pigeon, weren't you? Yes, yes he was. I, uh, he, uh, Tesla was in love with a pigeon who he thought was his wife and he says that when she died he thought, felt the inventive spirit left him. I'm not kidding. Okay, random person number four. What does he think of the Tesla girls? Who are the Tesla girls? Should I know this? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't know who the Tesla girls are. Oh boy, maybe I'm revealing myself as a pop culture idiot, which I am. Okay, random person number five. Is Brooklyn in the house? I hope you're all screaming loud right now. I can't hear you. I'm overseas. What do you think of Tesla's email handle would be? Hmm. That's a good one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I, I'm thinking of all these really mean ones. I, okay, I'm not going to say any of them. I'm sorry. Did Tesla invent the interweb? <laughs> that was Al Gore, wasn't it? Do you think Christian Bale is a good choice to play young Tesla? Ooh, I like this question because this question involves me making money. Now, yes, I would love to have Christian Bale. And the other one I've been thinking of is Daniel Day-Lewis. He would be fantastic. He'd be fantastic because he's good at playing a young person and an old person. So Christian Bale or Daniel Day-Lewis, if you're there at Happy Ending tonight, give me a call. Today is my mother's birthday. In all my haste to produce this show, I forgot to get her a present. If you win the orange prize tonight, can I give it to her? I'm sure she'd let you visit it. <laughs> sure thing, Mrs. Stern. It's all yours. Did you win? Mm. There's another question for, uh, for time travel. I'm not going to tell you. Maybe you'll go out and buy the New York Times tonight, and you'll know the answer to that question. Okay. Now, um... I don't know if we have any time left, but if we do, I wanted to do a quick experiment, but I have to set it up. I, I'm not a, an engineer, I'm not an electrical engineer, and so I might die during this experiment, especially since I, here I'm in the, the UK and you know they have funny electricity here. It's not like um, good old New York City. Um, but I'm going to try to do this, but you have to give me a second to set it up. Okay, so hold, hold on one moment. Hi, okay, so here we are. We're in the Academy Hotel bathroom, and I'm hoping to recreate a little Tesla experiment for you. I've, um, I'm sorry it's so dark. I, it has to be dark for this to work, but I, I've rigged the bathroom with a small uh, dynamo. It might be a little bit dangerous. I hope you're not about to witness my demise. Um, I need to close the bathroom door for the total darkness, so it, it'll be very dark for a moment. Don't, don't, don't be alarmed. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, here we go. And now you'll hear, I'm going to turn, switch the dynamo on. You'll hear a, a whirling. And my hope is that once the, uh, once we build up enough electricity in the air that this bulb will illuminate just by 
beam in my hand. We'll see if this works. Okay, patience. Oh, there we go, folks. There we go. Yes, it did. Hey. All right, Tesla. Good night, New York. <laughs>